Want a beautiful new smile without wearing braces? At Wilson Orthodontics, we're the area's only premier preferred provider of Invisalign, the revolutionary clear way to get that awesome new smile. That means we're Invisalign experts. And we're the only provider north of Atlanta using the iTero Scanner, a digital scanner that eliminates the need for those gaggy, gooey impressions. Discover more at WilsonBraces.com or call us to schedule a free consultation. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams. A Buford couple is in jail after police say they left their five-month-old baby home alone last week. Neighbors called Gwinnett County Police Friday, saying that Kelly Griffin was stumbling badly as she and her husband, Sean Griffin, left their home on Sardis Ridge Court. The parents apparently forgot the baby when they went to pick up two other children at nearby Ivy Creek Elementary School. The Griffins have been charged with child cruelty and running a disorderly house. They face drug charges as well. A fire that destroyed an abandoned house on Airport Drive Tuesday night apparently was sparked by two homeless people trying to stay warm. Hall County Fire Chief David Kimbrell said his crews were called to the scene just before 10 p.m. And when they arrived, the 1,000 square foot house was fully involved in fire. Kimbrell said the initial investigation showed the fire started in a plastic bucket inside the house. Two people were taken to the hospital to be treated for burns on their hands. Meanwhile, a man was taken to Gwinnett Medical Center with severe burns after a small propane tank exploded near Swanee Tuesday night. Gwinnett fire investigators say the tank got too close to a fire the man had built. Three Lawrenceville men are in jail in connection with an undercover drug operation on the south end of Hall County last week. Lieutenant Scott Ware with the Hall County Multi-Agency Narcotics Squad said the three were arrested without incident at a location on Lanier Islands Parkway. He says agents confiscated cash, cocaine, marijuana, and eight ounces of crystal methamphetamine. The meth, he said, had a street value of more than $22,000. And in political news, U.S. Representative Phil Gingrey of Marietta said as he will run for the U.S. Senate. Gingry announced his bid for the Senate seat during a Wednesday morning event in Augusta. The seat is currently held by Saxby Chambliss, who announced earlier he will not seek re-election. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams.